Hey guys and welcome back. Now this is a video I've wanted to do for a long time, which is a boot cleaning and conditioning guide. One of the things I hope we could do in the comments is add any tips or suggestions that you have. That way somebody coming across this video for the first time has a great resource for cleaning their boots. Now you're gonna see a lot of different boots here, six in all with a bunch of different products, all of which will be listed and linked in the description below. Now here are some of the products we're gonna be using. Obanoff's Leather Oil. We're also gonna be using Chamberlain's Leather Milk Formula Number no. 1, which is their conditioner. We're also going to be using their Formula Number no. 2, which is the cleanser and they are formula number three, which is the protectant. Snow seal leather protectant. This is heavy duty stuff, kind of smells funny too. Imperial Venetian leather bomb. Obanoff's heavy duty leather protectant. Red wing mink oil. Feebings or fibings, depending on how you pronounce that, saddle soap. Chamberlain's leather milk healing bomb. Red Wing Leather Protector Spray, Armstrong's All Natural. We're gonna be using their leather conditioner, boot shine, and we're not gonna use it, but I wanted to show it here, their saddle soap. A couple of additional things that you're going to need, and you probably have them at home, is a good horsehair brush, a horsehair dauber, a small brush like this that kinda of looks like a toothbrush, a good stiff nylon bristle brush, a microfiber applicator, a sponge, or a microfiber cloth. Any of these can be used, and all of these will be linked in the description below. All right, we're gonna kick things off with my NYX Builder Pros and Rough Out Leather. As you can tell, these things have seen a ton of use on the construction site. First thing we're gonna wanna do is remove those laces and hit it with the stiff nylon bristle brush. This just helps get rid of all that nasty caked on mud and grime and stuff. The cool thing about this brush in particular is it has that little blade on the back so you can scrape off any of those little spots that you've kind of neglected. Then we're gonna wanna take a mixture of water and dish soap. You're probably gonna have to change it out a couple of times because this stuff gets really nasty, but just go ahead and go around your boot. Just scrub in there, try to get all of the nasty stuff that's been hiding in there for a few weeks and get it off of that boot. After this, we're gonna wanna make sure that we put it on the boot dryer or at least let them dry until they are completely dry before we apply anything else. Now here we're gonna use the Obanoff's Leather Protectant. This is awesome stuff, and you can use an applicator, but I prefer using it with my fingers. It really helps you get into all the seams and little crevices and really get this stuff spread on there. Now, if you have laces, make sure to do those too. Then I take that stiff bristle hair brush and I just rough it up a little bit. This helps get into any crevices that I missed and on the underside of the nap of the leather. Then we're gonna use some of the Leather Milk Healing Balm on the tongue. This is really soft leather. We wanna make sure that it's nice and pliable. I use this Chamberlain's Leather Milk Protectant on the outside of the false tongues and on the inside, a little bit more of the Obanoff's Leather Protectant. Then go ahead and lace them up and you are ready to go. These are my Red Wing 1907s in their copper rough and tough leather. First thing we're gonna wanna do is remove those laces. Then I take a horsehair brush to get rid of any surface dirt. We're gonna use some saddle soap to clean these. Now, here's a note. I would normally do this over my sink or in a bathtub. I wouldn't do it on a table like I've done here, but I couldn't figure out any way to really film it properly. So I made a mess. Don't do this on you know, your kitchen table or something. Do it over a sink. After you're finished, put these bad boys aside, let them dry. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna use leather conditioner and mink oil so you can see how each one of them looks. Beginning with Leather Milk Formula Number no. 1, this is awesome stuff, made in the USA, smells nice, goes on easily. I've been a fan of their stuff for a long time. Just try to get even coverage. It's gonna darken a little bit, but that'll lighten up over time. I'm using a sponge to apply this, but you could easily use a cloth, just something that'll help you get even coverage. You can see how much darker the one that's been recently conditioned is. This will lighten up over time. 
Using the Red Wing Mink Oil, I like to use one of these microfiber cloths because this stuff is a little bit more waxy. You kind of have to dig into a little bit more. And you're going to notice that this offers a much shinier finish. So if that's what you're into, then mink oil is a great way to go. Here you can see the two finished. Now the mink oil is a lot shinier and it will dull over time, but the conditioned boot will lighten up over time. I suggest putting these both aside for at least a day and let that stuff soak in. Then you could go ahead and relace them and you're ready to roll. These are the Red Wing Iron Rangers in their amber harness leather. Now this is an oil tanned leather. First thing we're gonna wanna do is remove those laces. It takes experience to be able to remove your laces that fast, but I've been doing this for a long time. Then hit them with a horsehair brush to remove any surface debris. And using that saddle soap, again, I'm gonna make a big mess out of my table. We're gonna use mink oil on one of these boots and on the other, we're gonna use some leather oil. We're gonna start off with this Obanoff's leather oil. Now you'll notice that this stuff drastically changes the look of this leather. It darkens it by several shades. You can see it there already. Just try to get even coverage. You're not gonna be able to get into every nook and cranny, but that's why I use this microfiber cloth to help me spread it around a little bit more evenly. Now look how much darker that is compared to the way they looked originally. This is the Red Wing Mink Oil. I like this stuff because it almost takes the saturation of your leather and it just turns it up a few notches. It looks beautiful, has a nice shine to it, and it won't darken as much as the boot oil did. And here we have both side by side. Now you're gonna wanna let them dry for at least a day before you go ahead and relace them and wear them. But this really shows you the drastic difference depending on what you use to condition your boots. These are the Allen Edmonds Long Branch in pebbled leather. I think these are severely underrated. I love these boots. First thing we're gonna wanna do is take those laces off. Then again, hit it with a horsehair brush to get rid of any surface dirt. Here we're gonna use the Venetian Leather Bomb. People love this stuff and there's a good reason for that. It goes on easily, it does a wonderful job and a little goes a long way. As you can see, these boots have broguing, and some of that leather bomb will get caught in the little holes, but if you use a Q-tip, you can easily remove it. Then go ahead and hit it with a horsehair brush again. This just spreads around the leather bomb and gets into any of those places that you weren't able to get with the cloth. Now here we're gonna use some of the Red Wing Leather Protectant. This is a spray-on stuff that you just kind of mist over the top and then let it dry. It does a pretty good job but I like to use some snow seal for an added level of protection. I put this on the welt, because if there's any water that's gonna get into your boot, that's where it's gonna get in. Then I just try to work it in using that small brush and smooth it out with my fingertips. This also does a great job of dressing up that rubber on the outside of your soles. Go ahead and relace them and you are all set. These are the sadly discontinued Allen Edmonds Olden Walls. These were really the first boots that I fell in love with and I wear them everywhere. Again, first thing you're gonna wanna do is take out those laces. For these boots, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna use Armstrong's all-natural Brooklyn shoe care kit. 
This includes the boot shine, saddle soap, conditioner, and all those brushes that I showed you in the beginning. It's a great, complete kit. Using the horsehair brush, take off any surface dirt. Now these boots are dusty, but not really dirty, so we're gonna go ahead and skip the saddle soap and go right to the conditioner. After conditioning them, let them dry for at least a day. Then go ahead and work it in with the horsehair brush. And here you can see the difference between an unconditioned boot and a conditioned boot. You can tell that one has a lot more saturation of color and it just looks better. I mean, one is dried out, one isn't. Of course it's gonna look better. We're gonna go ahead and shine these bad boys up using some of the Armstrong's boot shine. Now anytime you use a waxy product like this, you're gonna get a little bit of hazing. You can easily take that off with a horsehair brush and then follow it up with a microfiber cloth. It's not unlike waxing your car. And there you go, that's the finished product. This is the Woolrich Yankee boot made out of some Horween leather. First thing, take off those laces. Then hit it with a horsehair brush to get rid of any surface dirt. Whenever you have a boot that doesn't have a very stiff toe, it really helps to stuff a little bit of newspaper down there. We're gonna clean these using Leather Milk's formula number two. Now I'm putting this on a sponge, but you could put it on a rag or anything like that. Something that you could just scrub in there. This isn't gonna do as thorough of a job as the saddle soap will do, but the idea here isn't to make them look brand new. I just want them to look clean. Moving on to the formula number one conditioner. This stuff is awesome, as I said before. Just go ahead and put it on. Try to apply a nice, even coat. Then set them aside to dry for at least a day. To add another level of protection and to dress up those sides, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the snow seal and apply it to the welt. Really work it in with that small brush and then finish it by hand. After this, you could use Leather Milk's formula number three to protect them. Then go ahead and lace them up and you're all done.